Hello and welcome to Grammar Lesson 2. We're going to start today's notes off the same way we start off the notes every day. First, at the top of a new page or below where your last notes left off, I'd like you to write the word date and then put down today's date. Next to that, I'd like you to write down the word lesson and put down the number two. So again, today's date, the word lesson, and the number two. After you've done that, I'd like you to skip a line. Then I want you to put the following words down and I want you to underline the whole thing. It should say level one, parts of speech. Please make note that speech is S-P-E-E-C-H. Level one, parts of speech. And again, underline that if you would. Then I want you to skip three lines and write this. The eight parts of speech are, and put a colon, the eight parts of speech are, while you're writing that, I'm going to move my screen up, but I will leave the last note at the top. Again, the eight parts of speech are, and then I would like you to number every other line after that, all the way up to number eight. Let you see what it looks like right there. Again, the eight parts of speech are, and then put down number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so I'm going to reposition my page here so that we can fill in some of this information. So beneath level one, parts of speech. If I'm writing it down, you should be writing it as well. Let's get started. Every word in every sentence belongs to a single part of speech. Again, every word and every sentence belongs to a single part of speech. Every word and every sentence belongs to a single part of speech. I'm going to reposition this. I'll put my last note at the top of the page. The eight parts of speech are number one, nouns. I'm put in parentheses a noun here and a period because that is the abbreviation that we will use in our four level analysis when we identify a noun. I'm going to move on down. I'm going to do pronouns next to number two. The abbreviation for pronouns is P-R-O-N period. After pronouns we have adjectives That is spelled A-D-J-E-C-T-I-V-E-S. The abbreviation that we use is A-D-J. After adjectives, we have verbs. A verb is identified with just a V and a period. Okay, once again, the eight parts of speech are number one, nouns with an N period. Number two, pronouns with a P-R-O-N period. Number three, adjectives with an ADJ period, and verbs with a V period. I'm going to move this so that verb is at the top. After verbs, we have adverbs. A D V E R B S, adverbs. And it is abbreviated with A D V period. After adverbs, we have prepositions P R E P O. 
S I T I O N S. That is abbreviated with prep. Again, preposition is P R E P O S I T I O N S. It's abbreviated with prep. After prepositions, we have conjunctions. C O N J U N C T I O N S. Conjunctions. C O N J period for that abbreviation. And last but not least, interjections. I N T E R J E C T I O N S. Interjections. And that is abbreviated with I-N-T-E-R-J. I know that's a long abbreviation, but that's what we use. Interjections. Again, those last four here, we have verbs with a V period, adverbs with an A-D-V period, prepositions, P-R-E-P period, conjunctions, C-O-N-J period, and interjections, I-N-T-E-R-J period. I'm going to reposition the notes here so we can fill in the information about each of these eight parts of speech. A noun is the name. A noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. A noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. Some people say that nouns are also the name of person, place, or thing, or idea. But I think an idea is a thing, so I lump them together. Keeps it simple. Number two, pronouns. This is a word that takes a word that takes the place of a noun. A word that takes the place of a noun. So a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. Number three, adjectives. A word that modifies, a word that modifies, I'm going to put in parentheses here, or describes a noun. Okay, an adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun. Number four, verbs. A word that shows action, a word that shows action or links a subject, links a subject to its subject complement. A word that shows action or links a subject to its subject complement. Complement in this case is spelled C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. Moving right along here, adverbs. A word that modifies a word that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. A word that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. 
I'm going to reposition the screen. I'll put adverbs at the top here. That'll give me space to finish off the last three. Prepositions. Okay, this is a word that shows the relationship a word that shows the relationship between its object between its object and another word for a preposition it's a word that shows the relationship between its object and another word. A word that shows the relationship between its object and another word. Moving on now, conjunctions. This is a word that joins words or groups of words or groups of words together. Conjunction, a word that joins words or groups of words together. Sorry, I forgot my S over there in the words. I just added it on. So it's a word that joins words or groups of words together. Last one here, interjection. A word that shows emotion but has no a word that shows emotion but has no grammatical purpose. A word that shows emotion but has no grammatical purpose. Okay, so that is the end of our notes today. Okay, here's the first part. I'll leave this up uh, while I explain a few things to you. Lesson one and lesson two of our notes is pretty much going to serve as the table of contents for what is to come. That's why it's not important for you to understand everything that's on these pages because the pages that will follow are actually going to explain each of these individual concepts in much greater detail. The next lesson, lesson three, is going to focus solely on nouns, the first of the eight parts of speech. Okay, I'll see you at lesson three.